Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're gonna be installing uh, the fender and uh, this charcoal canister. Got the hardware right here. Although I don't have the header panel on, it's easy to remove that plastic shield back and get the header panel bolt um, when I do install it. So this should be a very quick installation um, and um, I'll go over everything as I move along uh, to get this installed. Screw it over some. Also, I'll talk a little bit about these U-nuts and what sizes that's required for different sections of this fender insulation. For instance, this take a standard size like U-nut here. This is also a 7 16 uh, bolt, whereas these are longer U-nuts, um, and I'll show you guys that. Well, here I go one. I got one in here already. So it's a longer U-nut than that one also the one under here it's also longer but this is a half an inch bolt compared to the other ones that's 716 so we got that one this one here 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 and here so um I have everything right here. I should. <laughs> Here's the charcoal canister. Um, I'm missing um, another top, I believe, to go here. Um, it mounts here back up and I'm going to clean it a little bit more. And um, vacuum holes is here, which goes here. It mounts here and there for the braids. You guys can see the outline of it, which is, here's the brace. Real nice. And you can see the part for the brace. So it mounts with this part upright goes like so and um, then pop this fender on should be super quick before we get started let me show you guys these do nuts this is like a standard size u nut if you put it in comparison to this one it's longer it's a for the fender this is the size for the brace which is here Snap it on and it angles because it locks in when it's twisting in the arm direction. So I just want to show you all that. that, that and this is what we're going to be using. The first thing we're going to do is mount the charcoal canister bracket here. Three bolts, two half an inch, and one center bolt for here. Got this bolt made. And these are just half an inch bolts. So let's mount this up right now. So this slot sits across the center part of this bracket here. Like so. I'm gonna get the other part of this. I should be able to get in there. So let's uh, mount the fender now. That's good. Looks great. For the record, let me show you guys where this line goes. It's a return to the auxiliary tank on this vehicle. 
There's it right there. It runs up through there through the auxiliary tank. And if you guys watch, I just did a video on the auxiliary tank. You see, that's both of the lines. There's the other line that goes to the gas tank. And there's the other line that runs up, up top up there. It's two lines, a small one and a larger one. This one runs to the top of the gas tank. And that one runs to the front to that uh, purge canister. Okay, so we have... One small one, U-nut, three long ones. One goes here. One goes here. here all right then we got a small one this one small one oh man goes here It's kind of loose fit. Let me bend this close some. Okay, we're, we're on here pretty good. Line it up. Okay, so here's our bolts. This is the bolt for this bolt here. It's for here. Look at the large washer. I right, notice the large washer because it goes here. And it has to be a larger washer and goes there. 716. Whereas this is the bottom bolt, larger bolt, half an inch for the bottom underneath here. And here's the uh, 716 bolts. Look at the washer, the smaller washer compared to the door bolt. Look how small the washer is. These are for the fender here. We got one, two, three, four. And uh, we should be uh, pretty much all good then. So let's mount the camera. Let's uh, pop this fender on really quick.
So guys, I just about got it, but I want to note, should have said this out the gate. Uh, even though I'm being super careful, put some tape on here. You don't want to mess these edges up and I'm doing good. But when I'm pushing the door in now, I see them coming close to hit. So I'm going to put some tape on both sides real quick. So I won't mess up nothing. We should have done that before uh, we started. We can easily pull the tape off opposed to getting some chips in this. We don't want that. So let me uh, put some tape here. And then I'll, when I get the door closed, I'll put some tape until I get it exactly where I want it to be at. We're getting close though. Have to be pretty on here, long as just along that rim. Um, because I have that door so perfectly set, and I'm going off the measurements here. Let's see how it comes up over here. This has to run flush with that. This door is open, so that's about the seam we want for this door to close uh, perfectly without messing up anything. So um, I'm going, I'm gauging uh, these measurements exactly to over there. So that's why it's taking me some time. See, it's kind of almost pinched up against uh, this cow. So um, let me finish up. I think I get where I want to be at with this. Okay, I'm pretty much done with this, guys. I'm just where I want to be at. However, if you look at here, this is exactly where I want to be at. It's flush there. If you look at here, this is the height I want with this, but look at the gap here. There's a little gap here. I'm gonna show you why. If you look at the door, look at the door here. Look at that space. So I gotta rotate the door. I gotta, with the door hinges, I gotta rotate the door inward just a little bit here. Look at that. So we close that space off here and it'll pull us to exactly where we need to be at there. But everything else is perfect. That's the same part. So the bottom bolt is tightened already. I'll finish these off. You guys can look over there. I'll finish these off in a second. I'm not gonna tighten this yet. So I wanna make sure I got the header panel on Perfect. Look like everything's lined up good. And we'll tighten that last. I get the head of panel on, but if you look over here, I'm going to install this door like perfectly and look how we're in. This is the scene we want. We want that exact scene and how it comes up here. So we got to draw that door in just a little bit more. This is how it should be. Whereas, come over here, we're just a little bit too far out. So I'll suck that in uh, maybe tomorrow. And I'll show you guys what you need to do to suck those in. So you want to loosen uh, these top bolts and these bolts, I gotta put another one there and draw it in some. You wanna just rotate it. Once you get those loosened, you can draw it in a little bit. Just rotate it a little bit. We have to rotate a little bit in, we don't rotate too far, just uh, slightly to get our position. So, um, I guess that's it for this video. On the next video, I should have that done.
pretty much look at that that is spot on that's it you gotta make that subtle change up top and we'll be good so uh, that's it for the fender installation um, everything's lined up you can see the grooves and the marks everything's lined up all good we're gonna put those i'll do a video for those fender guards that I'm putting on. Let me see if I got one in here. All right, you got something. So these are the fender guards that was originally on here. We're not going back with those. We're gonna go with some some different kinds. Some that came off the 78. And, uh, and I'm not a huge fan of these. They look good, but I mean, the fender becomes so exposed with those but we're gonna put some the ones off the 78 hopefully we don't got no problem with the wheel clearance we shouldn't but it'll give us the look that i'm looking for so you guys can see this one as well pretty much dialed in on the doors all right that'll be it for this one till the next video which will be coming shortly not sure what it's gonna be i think something with the white and blue car as i push to get that running Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Terrence and I'm out.